Interpretation of the test is the medical staff's responsibility, not necessarily the person doing the test. The course is not meant to provide any of the training required to interpret the results. However, here are some common patterns that may be easily recognized. This is a normal test. Notice that the flow goes straight up from the baseline on the flow volume tracing, and that the volume increases constantly on the volume time tracing. The hump at the arrow is a normal finding, particularly in the young women. Obstructive airway disease causes a reduction in flow rates and a scooping out of the flow volume curve. The green line is the expected shape of the curve. You can see that the flow rate stays well below the expected flow for the whole test. The patient may be able to blow out for over 20 seconds if allowed to continue. Here is a more extreme example of severe obstructive lung disease. Restrictive lung disease is a reduction in the amount of air that can be exhaled. In this example, you can see that the flows are normal, but the total amount exhaled has been reduced. Again, it is the responsibility of the medical staff to do the interpretation, but these patterns are those that you may see during patient testing. This video highlights the essentials to getting good spirometry results from your patients. It provides only an overview. It's essential that you obtain hands-on training with the device you're going to use before you begin actual patient testing. The following website has a list of some common courses that are available.